Hey guys, I'm Scott Birdsall. I'm here at Pikes Peak Fan Fest in Colorado Springs. You guys probably know me for Old Smoky F1, my prior record setting truck at 1124065. .065. But this year I brought my LMP1 car. It's powered by a three liter VM Matori turbo diesel. This motor makes 948 on the dyno. We have it tuned around 600 horsepower for Pikes Peak. And the fact that I'm not used to the car yet and I don't want to kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's built by Superlight and it is based on the Cadillac LMP1 that ran Le Mans in early 2000s. Full flat bottom car, downforce generating under tray, big diffuser, huge uh, dual plane APR wing in the back. And then it's got a uh, aluminum monocoque and tube chassis. And then you see here we added all the uh, roll cage for Pikes Peak. This is only for Pikes Peak. Yeah, this is only for Pikes Peak. So originally this car had a molded in seat. Um, you sat much lower in it. Right. And it, it, it just basically had a little hoop right there above the cowl. But now it's got a full, you know, F basically an FIA rally cage for right. for this thing in case you go up into the trees or the cliffs or into the into the freaking boulders or whatever. Yeah. Is that uh, is that a motorcycle front screen? Yeah. So <laughs> this right here. So this is a. I, when we first took this out and tested with it, yeah, I, it was so windy I couldn't even like hear my engine or hear my shifts or anything. So I had this old CBR 954RR windshield laying around, or cowl and windshield and everything. So we just cut it up and kind of screwed it to the top there. Wow, that's dope. Let's talk about wheel brakes and tires. Yeah. So what I'm running here, I run a 305 680 18 Toyo prototype slick on the front, and I run a 325. 710 18 Toyo prototype slick on the rear. Um, these are like super soft compounds specifically made for Pikes Peak. Yeah, what are you gonna run race day? Cause I know it might rain yeah. possibly. So I've got the same exact tires, soft compound, but grooved at the factory for Pikes Peak in the rain. So wow. I've got those for that. That's dope. Um, what about brakes? Brakes, brakes. I'm running a Chevrolet Motorsport, uh, four piston caliper in the front and four piston caliper in the rear. Um, and those are made by Brembo. And then uh, EBC makes these custom one-off uh, full floating iron rotors specifically for this car for Pikes Peak. Um, and then the wheels, they're monoblock rotiforms and they are 18 by 12 in the front and 18 by 13 in the rear. What's all this? We get the party started back here. So it's got a compound turbocharged engine, like, you know, three liter VM Matori, but it uses a G30 uh, 770. Uh, High pressure turbo, okay, and then a G45 1125 for the low pressure turbo. So it's compound setup. They work together to create um, what doesn't really exist is a high pressure, high volume turbo. So one's blowing the other. Basically, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And is that like a diesel <laughs> thing or what? <laughs> um, it works best on diesels because the problem with compound turbos is you get runaway boost. Um, on this car, we see 75 to 80 psi boost. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, Dude. and that's. That's on a conservative tune of 600 horsepower. Wow. So at full blast, you're seeing about 100 PSI. That's crazy. And the engine can hold that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. Diesels, like if you look in the, ga in the gas world, like a 10 to 1 E85 motor with a turbo, that's, that's nasty, right? But in the diesel world, you'll have an 18 and a half to 20 to 1 compression ratio and, you know, 100 PSI a boost on top of that. Wow. Yeah. Epic. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Things that we made on this car was all the rear subframe to hold. It's got a 6XD sequential transmission um, and an RTS 1000 quick change axle. Um, so we had to, and those are really long, so we had to stretch the rear of the, rear of the car about eight inches. Wow. Um, and then, you know, we made the uprights. We did all the tube work on the chassis. Wow, that's epic. It's a pretty wild car. What is that orange thing? That? Yeah. Those are air jacks. So, you know, when your car is two inches off the ground, like you can't like get a service jack under it. Right. So this thing has AST air jacks on it. And you basically, you know, jam a, jam a wand here with nitrogen on it at like 250 PSI. And it instantaneously lifts up the car. Wow, that's so, so dope. No jacks. And then you put the little uh, safety stands under the, under the uh, air jacks and you're good to go. Yeah. APR wing? Yep. Yep. So this is the first of its kind. Um, this is an APR dual element wing. Um, it makes an insane amount of downforce. And uh, you know, they, it's all, it's all pre-preg carbon fiber. It puts so much downforce down that if you go into a high speed corner, like we need to, we need more splitter in the front and more front arrow. Yeah. yeah. Cause this thing is making a lot of downforce wow. back here. That's crazy. The cool thing about it too, is there's not much drag. So 
This, this is kind of an evolution of the wing you see on Smokey. Smokey's got a, a triple element wing, a little more downforce than the triple element, and way less drag. Like we talked about the engine, it's a three liter VM Matori turbo diesel, and it's built by Freedom Racing Engines and Fleece. Um, you know, billet internals, uh, coated pistons, coated bearings, all that good stuff. That way it can live at, you know, you get up to Pike's Peak, you got 30% less air density, everything gets hot, everything's angry. It's, it's built to handle that kind of stuff. And you've blown up engines here before. I have blown up four engines in Old Smokey chasing the diesel record. 